It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking patterns as we extend and write a rule for this mathematical pattern. Here we go. This question has two parts. The first four terms of an arithmetic pattern are shown. 5, 8, 11, 14, and it will continue infinitely. Here's part A. What is the seventh term in the pattern? And you're asked to enter your answer in this box. So here's where you're going to pause the video, identify the seventh term in this pattern, and come back and hit play to see the solution. Good luck. Welcome back. So here we're going to find the seventh term in the pattern. Here's my pattern right here. I can see I have term one, two, three, four. We're going to fill in the fifth term, the sixth term, to find the seventh term. Here, we want to look at this pattern and understand that if it's an arithmetic pattern, that means I'm going to repeatedly add the same number to each term to get to the next term. So from five to eight, I can see that that increased by three. Eight plus three was 11, and 11 plus three was 14. So I can see that my rule here is to add three to get to the next term. So now we can continue that. 14 plus 3 gives me a fifth term of 17. 17 plus 3 gives me 20, my sixth term. 20 plus 3 gives me 23, which is my seventh term, and that's the term in the pattern that I'm looking for. So we're going to put 23 in the box. So 23 is the seventh term to this arithmetic pattern. Now let's move on to part B. We're using the same arithmetic pattern that we did in part A, and part B asks, which of the following expressions can be used to find the nth term in the pattern? And you're given four answer choices. So pause the video now, identify your correct answer, and then come back to see the solution. Good luck. Welcome back. Again, we're going to find the rule that finds the nth term. So when they say nth term, that means we're going to replace n in one of these with the term that we're looking for. So 1 would represent the first term, 2 the second term, 3 the third term. So instead of nth term, first term, second term. So the n is the term number in the sequence you're looking for then one of these is going to give us no matter what we put in here. So I could put 100 in for n, and it would tell me the hundredth term in the sequence. So here's just one strategy. If we look at the first term, term 1, it's 5. So if we replace n with 1, then this expression needs to simplify to 5. I'm picking term 1 because it's the smallest number and easiest to work with in my mind. So let's do that. I'm going to replace n here with 1, so I have 1 subtract 1 instead of n subtract 1. Well, 1 subtract 1 is 0, so that would be 3 multiplied by 0, and the product of anything multiplied by 0 is 0. Well, that is not equal to 5, so I know that a cannot represent finding any nth term of this arithmetic pattern. So let's continue to b. If I replace 1 here, I know that it's always going to be 0. Every one of these is n minus 1, so I know that this value here, n minus 1, is equal to 0. The product of 5 multiplied by 0 is 0, so 3 plus 0 is 3. That is not term 1, so it cannot be choice b. Once again in c, we can see that this n minus 1 here, that will be 0. 1 subtract 1 is 0. So now I have 3 plus 0 plus 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. That is not our first term in our sequence, therefore I can eliminate C. So it looks like D is our answer, but we always want to make sure. So once again, n subtract 1, 1 subtract 1 for term 1 has a value of 0. The product of 3 and 0 is 0, so I'm left with 5 and that is indeed our first term. So we know that this rule, 3 multiplied by the quantity n subtract 1 plus 5 is equal to the rule. So if we replace n 
here with 4. 4 subtract 1 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. So you could use this expression as your rule to find any nth term of this arithmetic sequence. So there you have it. That is how we extend and write or identify a rule for an arithmetic sequence. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.